How are you doing, Dividend Growth Investors? This is EasyDividends.com. And thank you for watching this video. And in this video, I'd just like to explain a little about dividend growth, uh, calculating the dividend growth of an individual security. And so uh, what you're looking at here is just an Excel spreadsheet uh, which shows the dividend growth rates of a number of securities that sit, that sit in my retirement account, obviously, uh, in one of my accounts. And so it's ranked from the strongest dividend growth to the uh, lowest dividend growth. And so dividend growth, calculate dividend growth, this is this should be just part of what you're, uh, when you're, you know, investing yourself and obviously uh, selecting securities, this is, this should be one of the tools that you should be using, uh, as obviously with other things, with other tools as well, with other statistics. Um, but this is important because you, you want, when you are a long-term investor, you want to make sure that you're getting an increase in your dividends every year. And this is how you do it, by calculating the dividend growth and checking that your dividend growth is growing from year to year to year, every year. And obviously, you know, capital growth is important, but as an income investor, it's important that you're getting raises every year. And this is how, and th this is one way, this is an indicator that, you know, how much of a raise are you getting each year? And so, okay, let's, let's dive into the details a little here. Okay, so, my strongest uh, dividend growth is QQQ, and this is an ETF uh, traded on the NASDAQ. Well, it's basically a NASDAQ index ETF. And so what, what it shows here is I have, there's a 10-year dividend growth rate of 660, almost 665%. So how did I do that? Okay, so I've got the dividend growth rates from 2009 to 2019. And what I did was calculate the dividend growth rates, the dividend, the dividends paid per annum. So let's say in 2009, it paid a number of dividends per share. And so this is 0.21, okay? So every quarter they paid some dividends. I added up the number of dividends paid, okay? And I came up with, this is how much dividends were paid per share uh, for the entire year. So 0.21, this was the entire year. And so fast forward to 2019, uh, it paid 1.58 uh, per year. So the dividend growth rate became 665%. And this is how I got it. I basically took the dividend rate for 2019 minus the dividend rate of 2009 and divided by 2009. And that's how we got the entire percentage for the 10 years. And so below you'll see the dividend growth per year. So let's say, okay, let's look at from 2009, 2010. So you'll see that the dividend, uh, growth rate was 116%. And so you can see that in 2010, it paid 0.45 per share. In 2009, it paid 0.21. So the growth rate was basically 116, 117% because it increased the dividends per share uh, over the entire year, increased 100 some percent. And so this is really what, what the dividend growth rate is. The dividends grew from 2009, 2010 almost, you know, 117%, which is incredible. But you'll see that not all stocks are going to be paying uh, such huge increase in growth every year. So let's say uh, in 2010 to 2011, it grew 14%. So the rate was from 0.45 to 0.51. And from 2011 to 2012, it grew 60%. And so this is, uh, however, if you'll see from 2014 to 2015, there was a negative rate. So it didn't grow. In 2014, I was paid 1.45 uh, per share. And 2015, I was only paid 1.10 per share. So it actually was a little negative from then. Um, so this is how you really see the dividend growth rates for each individual security. Now, this is an ETF. So ETFs are not known. They're not, uh, they're not really, you know, known for increasing their dividends each year. Now, this is kind of an anomaly because QQQ tracks the NASDAQ and the NASDAQ obviously has exploded uh, these past couple years and you'll, you'll see that's why this is such a strong dividend growth ETF. But on average, most ETFs do not increase their dividends as 
much. Uh, it's it's very sporadic for ETFs. Now let's look at something more stable like Coca-Cola. Okay, so if we look at Coca-Cola, we'll see that each year the average growth rate here is 6.93%, and let's say you know from 2009 to 2010 it grew 7.3%. 2010 to 11, 6.82%. So this is, you're getting raises each year. So, you know, every year you're holding a number of shares, they're paying dividends per share, and your dividends are, you know, increasing by this amount every year. And this is what, this is how we're talking about the dividend growth rates here. And in the end, Coca-Cola uh, from 2009 to 2019, had a decent uh, growth rate of 95%, which is very decent. And and, this, and we obviously we check we checked this uh, 3.2 uh, minus the 1.64 divided by 1.64, and you'll get the 95, a little over 95% growth rate. Okay, so the first step um, I've I just closed that uh, original spreadsheet, and I just want to show you. Okay, the first step we want to do is first we want to set up the spreadsheet and I'm going to do a sample I'm going to do a sample security so that you can you can see how how the process is done and so okay first of all I have the same I just have the same format almost set up and I'm just going to do one sample security and the starting year is going to be the same 2009 and it's going to end 2020 okay so right right now we're at the end of 2020 so I'm going to be able to calculate the dividend growth rates for a particular security for 2020 for most securities for 2020 already because we're close you know we're at the very end of 2020 okay so um so you'll see here each column has uh to the, the year which starts off 2009 2010 and all the way it goes all the way to 2020 and in the end the dividend growth is going to be the dividend growth is going to be the total growth from 2009 to 2020. And the second column after that is going to be the average growth per year. Okay, so I'm going to use I'm going to use a, a very well-known security, uh, Johnson Johnson. This is one of my favorite securities. I love this stock. I have this in my accounts. And this is a very reliable dividend grower. And it's also a... It's got a huge moat, and the dividend growth, from what I see, is going to keep growing into the future. And this is obviously a dividend aristocrat, which is which means they've increased their dividends for at least 25 consecutive years. So J and J is the ticker symbol, Johnson and Johnson. I'm going to put it right here, and then I'm going to calculate the dividend uh, dividends paid annually for each year. And for this, I'm going to go to Yahoo finance and I'm going to enter it into the spreadsheet so okay so now we got the spreadsheet set up let's go to Yahoo Finance and let's find the dividends paid per year and let's plug these numbers into the spreadsheet okay so I'm at Yahoo Finance uh, right now and so the good thing about Yahoo Finance is you can find all these statistics uh, they're not going to charge you for for finding uh, the dividend uh, the dividends paid per annum and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the symbol look up here and obviously J and J is in um, I do have Johnson and Johnson in my watch list uh, but I'll just type it in you know for uh, just so you can see right so we go did J and J right here we type in Johnson and Johnson okay so and we're waiting for Johnson and Johnson to show up uh, a second here J and J all right here we are so we click on the ticker symbol and Johnson and Johnson's information should show up shortly okay let's wait for this all right so so now we see some statistics uh, from Johnson and Johnson and it's currently trading at uh, around $155 per share and you can see it's got a huge market cap over 400 billion um, some of these statistics I'll explain to you later on, but right now what we want to do is find the dividend growth rates. So uh, we're going to go to historical data here. Okay, we're going to click historical data. All right. And so, okay, so once we click historical data, 
you're going to see time period, historical prices, and, freq and frequency. So what we want to do is we want to change this. Okay, so I want to change the time period from to uh, from this to 2009, beginning of 2009. So start date. I'm going to click one one two zero zero nine. End date 12-30-2020, that's fine. Okay, so the time period is going from <clears throat> the end of 2008, which is the beginning of uh, 2009, to the end of 2020. Okay, so we want to show dividends only. And the frequency, we want to show monthly. Okay, so this is what's going to come up here, monthly. Now, now we click the apply button. Okay, the apply button. Right here, and now we wait for the dividend, uh, dividend paid, dividends paid to show up. Okay, so, so here you see uh, there's this table now, and this is what shows uh, the dividends that are paid per share. So you'll notice, you'll notice. Okay, the latest uh, dividends paid per share was on November 23rd, 2020, and this is uh, 1.01 per dividend. Okay, so that's a dollar or one per dividend, and it was paid November 23rd, August 24th, May 22nd, and back in February, uh, 0.95. So let's let's scroll down this. So we're gonna add this information into the spreadsheet in a second, but let's scroll down to 2009, and we can see if you look at this chart, you'll see basically every year the dividends are being added. The dividends are increasing so this is what you want to look for in a dividend growth stock when you pick uh, securities you want to look for a track record that increases their dividends each year and right now we're gonna take this information we're gonna plug this into this Excel spreadsheet and we're gonna find out the dividends that are you know the dividends paid the growth rate for each uh, for each year from 2009 to 2010 so let's look at this okay originally back in 2009 okay 0.46 february may 21st 0 0.41 0 0.41 0 0.41 so this is the the total amount of dividends that were paid uh for 2009 and then you'll see 2010 uh the four the quarterly dividends which you know uh the next the next four the next four tabs so you'll see these are the dividends for 2010. And so this is what we do. We enter this information into the Excel, Excel spreadsheet. Okay, we're going to add these four uh, numbers for, and put them into 2009. And then we're going to add these four numbers and put them in 2010. And then we're going to add the next four numbers for 2011. And this is how we're going to calculate the dividend growth rates, the entire 11 year period and for each year as well, the average growth growth rate per year okay so let's go back to the spreadsheet now and let's plug in these numbers okay so we're back to the spreadsheet and now I'm going to enter the information the relevant information into the categories so for 2009 we have we were paid uh, according to the chart 0.49 per dividend 0.49 uh, that was the rate per dividend three times and 0.46. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter this into the 2009 chart. So equals uh, bracket 0.49 times three. We were paid three times and then we added plus uh, 0.46, which was the dividend paid for uh, the, the first dividend paid. And then it increased to 0.49. Okay. And for 2010, 0.49 on to 0.54 three times so i'm going to uh, do equals uh bracket 0 0.54 times three uh plus 0.49 okay so now what we see here is 2009 we were the annual dividends uh paid per share was 1.93 in 2010 the annual dividends paid per share was 2.11 and let's let's keep doing this for 2011 and 2012 so 2011 uh point five seven three times plus point five four once so let's do this uh point bracket point 
five seven times three plus uh, 0.54 okay so 2.25 per share all right and let's keep doing this for 2012 okay give me a second <laughs> okay so uh, I fast forward a little and I'm basically I've calculated calculated the dividends paid per share up to 2019 so 2012 it was 0.613 times and once 0.57 uh, 2013 0.663 three times and 1.61 uh, 0 0.61 once 2014 0.73 uh, three times and 0.66 once so you see every year uh, this is these dividend increases are just like clockwork and especially for a company like Johnson Johnson it, it just it, it's just like clockwork it, it just automatically increases and and you'll see that every year uh, it's a very constant uh, increase and this is this is very good because this is what you want when you buy an income stock a dividend growth stock because you want the dividends to be increasing every year just like this particular uh, security here Johnson Johnson okay so uh, 2020 let's let's finish this one up so it was 1.01 .01 1.013 times and 0.95 once, so equals uh, 1.01 times 3 plus 0.95. Oops, what did we have here? Okay, so we don't want to. Let's change this format here. We don't want this percentage. The percentage is not right. Uh, we want to change this to. Uh, just the number okay let's change this back to a number uh two decimal place number okay so three uh three point three point nine eight okay so now this is what we want here we want to change this to a percentage so let's change this format so i think there was a, there was a slight uh, there was a slight <coughs> one column got messed up there okay so the percentage let's change this to percent so now what you want to do is calculate the dividend growth rate, the total dividend growth rate for these 11 years. So what we do is take 3.98, this is M3, uh, equals M3, we minus it from B, uh, B3, okay, and you divide it by B3. So this is what, okay, so we we see that uh, every year this dividend growth well we see the total dividend growth is 106 percent from 2009 to 2020 okay and the next thing the next thing we want to do is calculate the average all right <clears throat> all right so average it's basically okay we start at 2010 and we're, we're just going to do the annual growth from year to year all right, so let's do this. Equals, okay. Equals C. Uh, C three minus B three. All right, divided by B three. Okay, let's change this into percentages. Okay, so you just change this the average. Let's change this entire column to percentages so we'll, we're gonna do this like this and we'll change the format to percentage percent and leave two decimal places okay so for, for this all I think all we need to do here is just uh, pull this here okay we'll pull this here pull it like that okay so we'll pull it like that all right there we are so now we can see okay so this is B three uh c3 minus b3 which is correct okay divided by b3 uh c d3 minus c3 divided by c3 okay so you see that excel will automatically uh do for each each particular column so so if you look at this this is a very reliable dividend grower so from 2009 2010 the dividend growth was 9.33% from 2010 to 2011 it was 6.64 percent and on average you see here uh, this average is a good six uh, I would estimate a good six percent here six to seven percent 
So every year you see that dividend dividends are growing. They're growing on average 6%. Let, let's do the average here in the end. Uh, equals average. All right, so we're going to do from B, uh, C4, okay, average C4 all the way to M4, okay. All right, so, and you see the average is, okay, C4, M, so the 11-year average 6.81%. This is almost 7%, and this is... Johnson Johnson, I will I will admit it looks it is the best almost the best of the breed. It, it is it is a top line blue chip dividend growth stock, and this is exactly what you need. Obviously, there are so many different dividend growth stocks. Some start with a very low yield, and some have a little higher yield, a little lower dividend growth. I think Johnson Johnson is kind of in the middle here, so. You get an average of you know six almost seven percent. Uh, the yield, uh, we'll look at the, the current yield. It, it's somewhere around two point eight, and um, and you can you can see that if you buy shares of Johnson Johnson, you're gonna see at least six to seven percent dividend growth each year, and this is how we can tell. And other things to look for when you calculate the dividend growth. This does not show that. The dividend growth is slowing at all so you see it is very very steady okay year-to-year -year averages are very steady and this is the latest uh, 2020 you know the 6.13 very steady and it's been like this for the past uh, we'll see this 11 years and this is exactly what you want in a dividend growth stock okay so this is basically one example that I used and obviously this is really almost the best of the breed uh, stock but uh, this is what you really do when you look for, when you try to calculate the dividend growth, uh, and you look for. This is what you look for when you want it. Uh, we're an income investor. You want increase in dividend growth, and this is a perfect example right here. Okay, so thank you for uh, listening, and this is. Um, I'll, if you like my videos, please subscribe, and I'll, I'll have more videos for you um, in the future. Okay, thank you. Uh,